Wow. There's a rolled truck there. Ten twenty-one in the morning. And I've got a brand new tire on the rear of the little one. And all loaded up for uh, a couple of nights of camping. We head up towards the uh, Pemberton Gold Bridge, the Hurley. And then from there, uh, wander up towards Mud Lakes. See how far we get. Stop for tacos in Whistler. water. He is smoking hot. not take long to dirty up those uh, brand new tires. But I like the way they ride. And they're not quite as knobby as the last ones. Better on the better on the highway but still have a lot of grip. Equipped uh, with food and stuff and they've got booze. I thought it was in the bar over there but and they've got random singles which we motorcyclists love. And they've taken out the whole training thing on the 
gold bridge uh, gas uh, card lock. Uh, you used to have to do this whole stupid training thing where you, you know, said you weren't going to fuel things on your truck and blah, blah, blah. And then you got a little number, but they've taken that out. It's just a regular pump now. Gun Creek, nice spot. I'm going to check out this little pond up here before I... I might come back here, but I'm going to go check out this other place. It's this road that goes up here. Okay, I'm liking the look of this. How about that one right there? Up to here. The view is still spectacular. And the bench is in the shade and likely to stay that way because the sun's going to move that way. And a nice flat spot for the tent. This place had everything I could possibly want. A pond to swim in and get water from, and a breeze to keep the bugs down, nice flat spot for the tent, lots of shade, and lots of burn up here again. Got a grater working up here. Nasty graters necessary, but you really got to watch when they're working. And I forgot there's cabins up here on this uh, lake. Here's one for sale. Beautiful. This is called Freeburg wreck site. And it's just before uh, Tyak's Lodge. <laughs> open. Tyax Lodge. I've been in here once before many years ago and you could get a pretty nice lunch or dinner here and there's uh, accommodation. up above Tyax is surprisingly good and easy and yet it's it's over some crazy terrain deep deep valley crazy ridges look at that like that's wild yeah 
<laughs> it's pretty steep. Mud Taylor. Mud Taylor. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful little valley you climb out of here. This is wild. Beautiful. Lots of little slides. Certainly see how easy it would be for this road to get closed off. That is Mud Lake South. This is in between <clears throat> the first two lakes. Pretty. That one's a little deep. Pretty spot though, wow. Kind of surprised because the rivers were running so hard. Lake North.
not have been doing that with the big bike. Hmm. Serious climbs here. Here's the lake down there, the last most northern lake. This one's very steep as well. I think I'll try and go that way. Scrabbly bit here. Then I can probably go. But it is steep and off camber. Of course, the other thing is I'm probably going to have to come back this way. Which uh, would be a challenge. slow. I think you kind of got to go for it. Wow. challenge to get back up again that's for sure all right had some water a little bit of uh, a peanut bar hill definitely uh, they freaked me out these are some serious ruts man maybe we go this way butterflies some more water. Stuff like this where I lost my water pack. 
on the trip up north. It's, uh, I really miss it. Okay. Well, it's nice and clear anyway. helps that they're clear and you can see the bottom see what you're about to hit hmm we better go have a look at this that's my best bet